Hello, good morning. <clears throat> I'm first of all I want to say sorry for not being able to upload the video last week. Kay lahi man siya format niya upload na ko bi siya ma-upload akong i-convert lahi ng file ang gawas. So, nangita pa ko og lain nga online platform para maka-record nga direct so shall convert into an mp4 file para dili na di sod di na convert convert so sa so pamaka samta yeah um, from the introductions that you've had the no, like introductions uh, most of you are actually uh, some of you really good ingon nga ang gusto nga kurso kay BS Ed but naiuban kasagaran ganahan og psychology but don't worry because psychology is still part of the realm of of social sciences so this morning we will be discussing on the introduction of human geography geography that includes its history the proponents of human geography and all those stuffs So, once again, good morning. So, let me share this screen. Oops. There you go. So, <clears throat> in your introductions, I've noticed that uh, most of you are speaking in English and yeah some of you also nag apologize na dili mayo ang in your English or ang sabatong yung mga apologies well ayo do not be pressured with that because I am not really keen if mag English mo or mag isaya mo as long as uh, magkasinabot that's fine with me no problems no worries okay so Human geography. So, what is human geography? So, um, welcome to Southern Leyte State University College of Teacher Education, and we are in the Social Science Department. Okay, so this one is actually ako na ning na mention niyo when I gave a brief introduction about the course last week. May plano unta ako pagka Thursday, sunod na ko ni siya upload pero sad to say, uh, wa ni o yun ang kaitasan. So, morning karon Okay, so vision and mission of the university, eh, you know that already. Well, let's go to the meat of our lecture today. So, we have the nature and scope of human geography. So, in the nature and scope of human geography, we will, I will be uh, discussing here nature on some my not nature sa human geography on some my scope asa may iyang asa man kutub ang human geography or kanus atama ka ingon nga sa human geography paninga discipline or sa lahi na pun siya discipline okay. so geography is actually defined as the study of the earth as home of humans okay. so muna siya ang classical definition sa, sa geography so take note that we are still defining geography here but not yet the whole context of human geography so geography this one here is the study of the earth as home of humans okay. so the definition itself tells us that the focus of the study is the study of the earth and not particularly about the cultural activities and societies and communities of humans but only the study of the earth okay. now geography as a discipline is interdisciplinary so what is interdisciplinary it is interdisciplinary and integrative so what do we mean when we say 
interdisciplinary and what do we mean when we say it's integrative so interdisciplinary means daghan nga discipline ang pwede mo sud sa geography so if we try to say nama ko kwarto so bisa kun sarang ako punitan dere so in case um this is the geography this is geography concept or the discipline of geography interdisciplinarity means all other disciplines can study geography so if the focus of geography is the study of the earth then several disciplines can look at earth in the different disciplines lain lain disiplina pudi mutan aus earth now it's integrative because uh geography could not be studied by a single discipline but geography can be studied by different lenses lain lain nga lens and these lenses would somehow sometimes be integrated with each other to together look at the perspective of geography i hope you understand that now there are several perspectives in in geography so these perspectives are different but they are interrelated so when we say interrelated different sila lai sila pero they are interrelated okay so with the use of these lenses geography is systematic and regional okay, so what do we mean by systematic now from the, uh, the systematic perspective comes human geography now it's the locational and distributional aspects of cultural phenomena resulting from the ever changing human nature interaction so in human geography it's not geography only since there is human so if we defined geography a while ago a study of the earth as home of humans as the definition of geography and we define human geography that does not only include the study of the earth but it also includes now humans thus human geography is a result of the ever changing reaction or relationship between human and nature so that makes it a little bit complex you know now you study of the earth as it is is simple but when you come to humans different cultural perspectives different cultural activities it makes it complex so mana ni so drawn the relationship between human nature interaction which is changing and dynamic also so human as we know based from abraham maslow hierarchy of needs based from other theories that man can never be contented nasita pangita og dugang sita pangita og dugang mang mag ambition ta ning ani nya once na nanato la ganahan pud tag dugang ka tag dugang because dita mo kontento okay now in everything that we do in every need that they, that that we satisfy nature is always at stake so daghan ang hitabo ron like for example climate change climate change is a product of this human nature interaction but in this human nature interaction if i'll ask you who's winning is it the humans or it's nature who's losing is it our environment or is it its people well if we look at it when humans are actually using nature for their own needs it seems that humans are winning and nature mao siya na nakuha but look at it in a different way climate change who's winning it's nature's wrath going back to humans because of our gara-gara nga paggamit sa nature nga wa na to na sila ma matarong og og rep na wa na to ma-replenish nga tong ibang gamit nga wa na to ma-maintain ang nature ato lang ipasagdan so it's going back so tabla ra no humans get what they have from nature well nature nga naabuso of course na i retribution And this is now this is what is happening now okay so Now, emergence of human geography is a field of study so we are now we will be focusing now on the history of human geography as a field of study okay so 
In the later half of the 15th century to 18th century, the Nipanons and the dinosaurs, ha? Na so, uh, scholars appreciate advances in techniques, techniques of map making and accumulation of vast information through several expeditions. No? Ito yung mga panahon ng pagalugad ika nga. And uh, time of the age of exploration, Christopher Columbus discovered the, US, the Americas, uh, Magellan and other explorers discovered Asia and have discovered that the world is round. Together with that exploration, they were also doing some map making. Mabitatong si Magellan ngayon sa Pilipinas, you have Pigafetta, the scholar who wrote everything. No, if you look at the works of Pigafetta, na apun na dito yung mga maps. Okay, so that is already geography. No, so good na mga times. So geography is an old old discipline. Now. This was examined and classified by professional geographers. And it is seen as the work of Bernard Varenius, that uh, general and special, that the earth as a whole, the book on earth, but it's constituted of individual regions. Now you have the earth classified into uh, continents, continents to countries, countries to regions, regions to provinces, provinces to municipalities, municipalities to barangays, barangays to towns. So it's general, it's big, but it is divided into several regions according to Bernard Varinius. Now, there are three sections of the earth according to the early Greeks. Moni anangawas aningatang. Now, there is a celestial properties. These are the properties that is found beyond the earth, gawas. You have the stars, the constellations, the comets, uh, the solar system, mona siya ang celestial. And then we have the terrestrial properties, the land, the properties of the land. So mona ang mga mountains, and geographical location, ang lawas, ang lawas or earth, that is there, the trees in the terrestrial properties. And lastly, sa human Greeks, na ang human properties. And that is the culture, you know, the properties of humans, uh, our behavior, our culture, our society. So it's already there. You know, and this is the three sections of the earth. So if you try to look at it, the discipline is very broad you know, during that time. So in the late 19th century, with uh, rapid development attempts, rapid development attempts were made to restrict the scope of geography because as you could see in the previous slide, that geography is very broad. Now, the 19th century, na anatay, uh, attempts were made to restrict the scope of geography. Para magamay gamay kay takura tayo para kay basta. So, major emphasis on the relief features of the earth rather than cultural features. Dito, mauna siya ang gistadihan sa geography. So, gilimit ang geography na ang time during the 19th century. Okay? So, the study on this, it made it more stable and f study focuses on physiography purma sa physical characteristics uh, sa land forms and water forms and then geomorphology how it changed over time so for example uh, a water for example na dito buong vulkan sa ilam nabuto na siyang vulkan na kayo siya ang island this geomorphology and uh some studies would, sh would say, would show that um, mga bukid, ay panagsa, makakita sila nga to, o mga, they would see corals, dyed corals, dead corals. No? So, perhaps, ato nga time, dagat pa na. No? So, these are things studied in geomorphology. No? Reaction to this, scholars began to examine the relationship between humans and their natural environment. So, because of this, mura og kuwang rapot kung ato naon naon so gikan sa 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 kadako karon gi specify ang ubang na pong scholars see men is could never be contented see the scholars then began to examine and found out that the relationship between humans and their natural environment to na siya discuss diha okay. now this paved the way to the school of human geography no kung tanaw na karon ang relationship between humans and their natural environment okay. so then anak so good class ang school of human geography so kinsa may mga nag-una ani 
Now you have Charles Darwin's Origin of Species. If you are familiar with that book, Darwin, when he, he explored the Galapagos Islands with his uh, boat named Beagle, yeah. it any, uh, uh, this specific kind of bird, yeah. in line, the same species, but in lines, a characteristic in, dif in, in several islands. And so, we come up on home, Charles Darwin, and the adaptation, and then the survival of the fittest. These are under human geography because this is actually the relationship between man and its natural environment. But this time, Charles Darwin has seen it on birds on the Galapagos Islands. Now, another is Bacall's history of the civilization of England. It's sad to say I'm not familiar of. And you also have Ratzel's Anthropogeographic. Okay. So, Ratzel, simply, these are people who are, are proponents of, of human geography. Now, Ratzel would say that uh, human geography is the synthetic study of relationship between the unresting man and unstable earth. So, man, unresting, why pa hawayay? Because, good hand time, satisfy needs and making our wants, our needs, you know, satisfy them, and the unstable earth. So, synthetic study relationships. Tanawan pala na nimudaan, by that definition alone, you can see that human geography, the study of human geography is an ending. It's dynamic. As long as there is human, as long as there is environment, the discipline is there. Okay? Next is, simply would state that uh, human geography is the synthetic study of the changing relationship between man and earth. So changing relationship, naglahi-lahi ang relationship between man and earth. Kung man o ang earth, this time atong gi-exploit ang, ang environment. And then later on, nakarealize si man na nibalik na nila ang ilang gibuhat sa environment. Like karon, most of the projects are for a a, a green environment so ana ana ko kalik relationship later on apod ata kay baw bugamay ang tao tungod kay ko ana ana ko we don't know so it's just saying that there is a change in relationship between man and earth now, this leads to the a new understanding of an interrelationship between earth and man okay this is class what is being studied in human geography in the next chapter we will be discussing people population and all those stuff and how does it affect culture and traditions okay. from land upon history in Aristotle to physical environment influence human activities by Ratzel and Semple so these are actually um, books written about this okay so what is the scope of human geography so we have the physical of natural environment um, and the cultural environment Physical of natural environment, money atong palibot atong natural environment. Well, cultural environment is the existence of man in the society and how how its ways are. Okay? Now, proponents have books about this on geography of the first vital necessities, geography of the utilization of the early resources, you have economic and social geography, you have political geography, and geography of history. Now, these are books written about human geography. So, approaches to study human geography, you have determinism, wherein, um, in this approach, human becomes passive. No, passive because it becomes, maragwa lang ang humans. Diba? Katong first, it's just the environment. But, today, we have already migrated from determinism to possibilism. That human as active agents. No, human has a certain way to influence the environment. Let's be possibilism. Eh. Nakita na atay role o on sa situation karon on sa inaitabo sa atong environment. Well, ang determinism, wa kita na ang man. Ang man as, ang tanaw ra. Kita mo? The, the difference between determinism and possibilism. Determinism, human as passive. Possibilism, human as active agents. Okay? Now, recent changes in the post-World War II, positivism, behavioral, welfare, and humanism. No, so, nanay positivism, nanay behavioral, depends on behavior, welfare. Murag, at this point in time, ni focus na takaron sa tao. Na tao and environment. Unlike sa unang panahon nga, focused only on, on the landscapes. Okay. 
So I think uh, that's about it. If you have some questions, uh, feel free to ask it in our uh, group chat and not torta, not like discuss or whatsoever. Now, I hope you all have started reading also the the PDF that I have sent you. Please start reading chapter 1 because we will be discussing that next meeting. Same with this, I will be discussing it. We'll give you a video lecture and then all those. Okay? So, I think I'll wait for a while. So I think this is uh, for now. Thank you and uh, goodbye.